There is another MIDI connection which could come handy if you want to play loops on your SPDSX or if you want to use the internal click uh, from your SPDSX. Um, could be that you have run out of uh, outs um, from your sound card or from your computer um, you're using or that you just want the click separate and want another volume knob. Um, yeah, being able to control the volume on your SPDSX from your click track, this could come handy then. Okay, for this you need to go into the Ableton Live preferences and um, you need to switch on the output, on the output port from the SPDSX, you need to switch on the sync function. As soon as you switch this one on, um, you will have two more fields here. So uh, if I turn it off again, they um, get away, but now we have them there. And as soon as we start um, the transport in here, you will get quarter note MIDI clock being sent out here and it will be monitored in here. So uh, now you need to change something on the SPDSX. So you need to go into the menu, you need to go into the setup, press enter and you need to scroll down, go to MIDI and then you have the second from the top. It's called MIDI sync. You need to switch this one to auto and now um, the MIDI clock is being received. So it works like this if you start the metrum in uh, Ableton Live. And then if you start and stop the click, um, but you have to make sure that you're right on, the, uh, on a quarter note, otherwise um, it wouldn't be in sync. So let's hope I get the quarter note right. So that sounds all right to me. So this is um, the click from the SPD SX coming into this audio track. And when I change, let's switch this one off. When I change the tempo in Ableton Live, it will take a little bit for the SPDSX to adjust, um, but uh, it will follow the tempo. So if I turn on now the SPDSX click, and if I go down, And it sounded a bit weird, that's because my uh, audio is being sent back and even, and that's really interesting, even when I stop the transport in Ableton Live, um, the SPD-SX click will go on. So let's demonstrate this one again. I think this is not ideal. Um, it should really listen to the MIDI clock inside the SPDSX and then start and stop. But that's how it is, so um, you need to work with that if you're doing it this way. So let's switch off the click again and um, let's set a tempo here. Let's set it to 120 and let's start the transport. Start the click on the SPDSX. And that wasn't really nice. So let's do it again. Two, three, four. That's just about all right. And now I'm gonna stop the transport in Ableton. I press stop and then you could hear the click from the Roland SPDSX stopped for a little moment and then was going on in 120. So, well, this is not the best solution to use the click from the Roland SPDSX, but if you need it for recording purposes, for example, that should be fine because you just only need to sync it once and then it's fine for a whole tune. 
Okay, so um, one disadvantage here as well, you can't, I couldn't find a way to receive a MIDI clock um, from the SPDSX. Um, maybe it's hidden somewhere, but so far I couldn't find it. So um, couldn't find it in the manual. So I guess it's not possible to um, send a, um, a MIDI clock from the SPDSX to another device or to a door like Ableton Live.